Hello guys, this is James and you are watching Let's Architecture. This week, I was just browsing my favorite architectural websites and one of them is design.com. I guess many of you know, if you don't, uh, nah, that's, that's not possible. So, um, I saw this great project, um, it's a apartment in Ukraine. It's very minimalistic, uh, yet there is this character about this. If you go down, you can see more images. And yes, you, you, you have a plan. But the second image is an exploded isometric. It's very simple, yet it's very, very effective in showing the main idea of this space. And surprisingly, many people don't know how to do it. So in this video, I will show you that. Actually, in my first video, uh, I did do a similar thing where I showed how I created these um, diagrams that, well, they, re they look really similar to uh, Bjark Ingels groups uh, diagrams um, but people sent me loads of messages saying that they wanted uh, to see the whole process so if you want to know how to create this sort of diagram then stay tuned and let's architecture So I've created the model in SketchUp just because uh, most of you guys uh, know how to use it. It's the most used architectural software out there. So um, that's the reason. This tutorial is for somebody who knows the basics. So if you need to learn like first steps, then probably just go and watch another video. But just in case, I will show you how to import an image. So you go to File, Import, and you select your image. And don't forget to click all supported image types because uh, by default, it would be something like SketchUp. Therefore, uh, you might not see it. So again, all supported image files, click image, not texture, nothing, and import. And double click, and you have your image. Simple as that. So in most cases, you would have a scale bar, which you could reference it from, but in some cases you won't. So what you should do is to find a standard item, like a bed or a door, which has a standard dimension and, and uh, work from there. So in my case, I used a double bed, which would be around 190 centimeters. So it's a pretty simple uh, geometry just create your, your outlines, extrude them, bang, done. I've just decided to go and import uh, furniture from 3D Warehouse because I couldn't be bothered to model everything just because uh, I wanted to show you the principle. But there were some pieces of furniture that I had to create, like this uh, cupboard. The main point was for you to get the idea. Yeah, you can download uh, some furniture or you can model it up to you. The point of this tutorial was not to create an identical replica of the project, but I just want to give you the principles of how to do it. 
so don't be really picky that the sofa didn't match or the table did is, is different i know i know Plus, I only had a planned drawing, so all heights had to be, you know, just estimated. Um, again, just download a model and uh, just play about with it. Again, you could model this in whatever software you want. Um, it doesn't really matter for this kind of simplistic uh, diagram. Um, you just need a basic geometry and SketchUp works just fine for this kind of work. The main requirement for the software is that it would allow you to export a line work. So here you can see I'm just setting up the view that I want and now I'm setting up the uh, line weights and saving up the model. Now for the renderer I use 3ds Max because that's my daily modeling uh, software. I don't use SketchUp, I use 3ds Max. But for this particular um, work I needed SketchUp and I will show you why later on. The reason why I had to import it into 3ds Max is because I don't have a renderer for the SketchUp. If you do, then you don't have to do this step. You can just render it in SketchUp. Uh, luckily, uh, I could import the camera, so uh, it would all align perfectly, no problems. And that's why I need a SketchUp, because it can export line work, something that 3ds Max is not capable of. You can play about with line weights, doesn't really matter. So all you need is render and line work. Now import all of that into Photoshop and basically try to align them 
and make sure that the scale is the same. You might fix fix it a bit, but also you could fix all the little imp imperfections that you might you might get. I could have added textures in Corona, but I wanted to specifically show you how to do it in in Photoshop. Yeah, you basically just import a texture, adjust it, um, put it into multiply mode and delete the rest and you get a nice texture. And that's what I'm doing here with the plywood. The same is done with tiles. And the flooring. And the last piece is this guidelines as you extrude something or well pull it up you need these guidelines so i had to do that and the cut line some final tweakings and voila That's it guys, um, very simple. So let's just recap it. Step one, model your design. Step two, export your line work. Step three, render your model. Doesn't really matter whichever render you use. Uh, the only thing you need to consider is the viewing angle. So if you actually export it into a different software like I did, make sure that the camera angle and uh, the camera lens is exactly the same. Step four, combine everything in Photoshop. Step five, add textures. Step six, do some adjustments uh, in your whites and shadows and contrast. Voila, that's done. So I just showed you how <laughs> to create a very nice image really quickly so all i'm asking is for you to like this video share it with your friends if you think it's been helpful and subscribe if you have any questions you can go to my facebook page and send me a message through there and i will reply to you within 24 hours i promise and for anyone who wants the Photoshop file or maybe the SketchUp file, never knows, um, I will be happy to share it with you. To do that, like the video, share it and subscribe. That's the main thing. Uh, but secondly, go to my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash let's architecture and send me a message with your email and I will send it to you. So that's it guys. I hope that you actually learned something today. If you did, great. This was James, Let's Architecture.